morning, Wally. I said good morning. Oh, uh, morning, Lionel. And how are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine, Wally. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> oh, nothing much. You still mad at me about that Lena Horn thing? That's what I'm mad about, all right. <laughs> Look here, Wally. I never said that Lena Horn couldn't sing. You said it right here last night, just when we were closing. You said it. I heard you. Maybe you should have your ears checked. My ears work just fine, and they both heard what you said. It went right from my ears into my brain. What a depressing trip. <laughs> you can put me down all you like, but don't go putting down Lena. Don't go saying she can't sing. Look, Wally, what I meant was Lena has a problem with soul. Bite your tongue. Lena is proud to be black. Yeah, well, she may have been proud to be black, but her vocal cords, well, they were critically white, thank you. <laughs> Just how old were you when your mind left home? <laughs> Wally, soul is where it's at. Soul is what's happening. And there are any number of singers today that have more soul than Lena. Like who, for instance? Like who, for instance? Like Whitney Houston, for instance. Who? I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> I want to go to sleep with somebody. Who oh, is somebody who loves me? Don't you want to love me? <laughs> uh huh. I mean, even Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. I'm on my own. <laughs> Once again, by myself. Excuse me, Patty. <laughs> Even Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. That's right. Oh, you crazy. Lena has style. Now, all Gladys does is go, whoa, 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 whoa. She sound like a damn locomotive. <laughs> So, man, you ever see Gladys perform, huh? So oozes out the woman's body. It spills all over the audience. People be standing in the aisles, man, trying to wipe the soul off the bottom of their shoes. Mm -hmm. If she's so good, how come she has to have pips? <laughs> Lena doesn't have pips. Lena stands out there all by herself, pipless. <laughs> pipless. Ain't no use talking to you, man. You don't know nothing. Uh, had to be something wrong. Had to be something going wrong. That's all I gotta say. Had to be a mix-up at the hospital. Now, what are you mumbling about? How is it possible for that sweet woman that I married to have such a chump for a brother? Had to be a mix-up at the hospital when you were born. The only mix-up in my family is when my sweet sister allowed you to marry into it. Well, I happen to love her, and I would do anything for her. A few years ago, when she asked me to give you a job here, I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Doreen asked you to get me a job? Beg me. Beg me. Well, my sister begged me to come in and help save your floundering establishment. You the one that was floundering? You thought you was Mr. Show Business? <laughs> I was. I was a vocalist, a musician, a virtuoso. You were a singing waiter in Atlantic City. <laughs> well, yeah, well, what about my impressions? Those people love my Bill Cosby and killed them. Say, Rudy! <laughs> I want you to go and tell Theo to clean out the basement, you see. Because we just made another 20 million. Hello. <laughs> and just think, man, I gave up that rocket to start him to come here and help you out when I could have been out there making some real dope. Listen to the man. I have always had a booming business. Booming? Booming. <laughs> hey, man, this place used to look like Death Valley. If you bake two loaves of bread, you overstock. <laughs> this place was successful long before you came along with your fancy French ideas, like croissants, brioche, baguettes. I had all those things. I just call them rolls. <laughs> Why well, I bought some class in this place, okay? I turned this place into what you would call a patisserie. A patisserie what? A place to buy a pastry that doesn't cut into your gums. Uh-huh. Unfortunately for you, I promised my sister that I would stay here and help you out. You help me? I would fire you in a shot if I hadn't promised Doreen I'd take care of you. Well, nobody needs to take care of me. And nobody needs to help me, least of all you. Well, somebody should. But not you. Doreen thinks so. She does not. Does too. Wrong. I know so, man. Look here. Wally, I've got no time to argue with you, okay? I've got to go out front and deal with a human being. Lena Horn can sing the pants off of Gladys Knight. By my fail. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, if it isn't Mrs. Wilson and mine, aren't you looking nice this morning? Thank you, Lionel. So tell me, what will it be for the Wilson family today? Oh, I'll just have my usual half dozen poppy seed rolls. Just a half dozen poppy seed rolls, Miss Wilson? Yes, Lionel, that's it. So don't even try to tempt me with anything else. Oh, now I wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> Not even some of my chocolate-covered cream puffs? Not even. That I make with my own hands? Just for you? Sorry. Baked to a golden brown. <laughs> okay, I'll take two. <laughs> Filled with that luscious, creamy custard. <laughs> Okay, four. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Covered with that deep, dark, sinful chocolate that when you bite into it, the chocolate just oozes all down the side of your mouth. Mm. How many do you have there? Well, I have a half a dozen. I'll take them. Special for you, it's only five dollars. <laughs> You know, Lionel, since you've come here, my family's put on 180 pounds. Well, it must be the rest of your family, Miss Wilson, because you're looking mighty fine. <laughs> if you weren't mad, it'd be you and me. <laughs> I love Miss Wilson. I hope I don't see Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Morning, Lionel. My, aren't we looking fresh this morning? Thank you, Lionel. You know, that dress really hugs your body. <laughs> Not that I can blame it. <laughs> Sweet. So tell me, what's up in showbiz? What's on the agenda for today? Well, my agent's meeting me here, and I'm on my way to audition for a bubble bath commercial. Oh, bubble bath commercial? Oh, I wish I'd have known, you know. You could have rehearsed in my place. You see, I don't have a tub. But I got a big sink. <laughs> hey, you're really revved up this morning. Hey, I work in a bakery. I'm on a roll. <laughs> oh, man, what a morning. What a morning. Sorry I'm late. Boy, that Tom Cruise is really something. Tom Cruise is a client? Nah, I just saw his movie last night. Isn't he something? <laughs> Listen, could you get me a coffee, black, three sugars? Thanks. Listen, about your audition. Excuse Here's what I want you to do. Are you telling his agent? That's right. Coffee, black, three sugars. How would you like it? If I got you a black coffee, three sugars, and a side of Sidney Portier. Wait a minute, man. Just get off of my back. <laughs> Most people, when they order coffee, they order it like a wild man. But you just order yours like a man. <laughs> Not bad, Sidney. They call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> If, if I get this commercial, do I get to wear something under the bubbles? Oh, baby, baby, this is Mitch you're talking to. What do you think, I'd send you out some sleaze operation? Excuse me. Would you like a little Michael Jackson with your coffee? <laughs> you want your coffee? You need your coffee now. You want your coffee? Three cream sugars. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's pretty good, kid. Here's my car. Give me a call sometime. All right. All right. Miss Starler, theatrical agent. Hey, listen. As Fred Sample would say, uh, Lamont, uh, look at your son. Uh, load up the truck. We going to Hollywood. <laughs> Hi, babes. Hi, honey. <laughs> What's so funny? Your brother. We had a discussion, and he actually believes that Gladys Knight is a better singer than Lena Horn. Can you believe it, Gladys Knight? I like Gladys Knight. <laughs> that Lionel is like a virus. He's infecting my whole family. <laughs> so what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going over these drawings my kids made in kindergarten this morning. <laughs> The assignment I gave them was to draw their favorite person. And look at this. Who's this? Well, according to Steven, that's supposed to be me. It's pretty good, Doreen. But he forgot your knobby knees. <laughs> Keep that up and you'll be eating out tonight. On the other hand, I love what he's done with your hair. 
Kind of that Don King look. <laughs> and sleeping out, too. And speaking of where I'm sleeping, why don't we turn in early tonight? Oh, all right. After dinner, we could call it a day. No, I mean before that, like now. Now? Yeah, we can have dinner in the morning. <laughs> Wally, what went on at the bakery today? They got you all fired up. Nothing. But man does not live by bread alone. <laughs> In between those two slices, he's got to have something that calls for some mustard. Well, I guess it's bound to happen when you look at buns all day. <laughs> Whoever that is, is not my friend. What's up, Wally? Did I call it? <laughs> Lionel, what a surprise. Well, I just came by to tell you the latest. Did I come in a bad time? No, you came at a good time. Now it starts the bad time. <laughs> the latest about what? Didn't Wally tell you? Wally, you didn't tell me. Well, his talent agent came in this morning and gave me his card. Really? Oh, yeah, he's interested in me, Doreen. Looks like your little brother's about to hit the big time again. Now, Lionel, just because he gave you his card doesn't necessarily mean the big time. No, it's gonna take time. Might take a few weeks, but he liked me, Doreen. <laughs> this guy, oh, he really liked me. Did you ever think that he gave you his card to get rid of you? Why would he do that? I would. <laughs> now, just for that, I'm not gonna mention you in my autobiography. <laughs> Look, I'm only saying it because this has happened before and I bailed you out. Wally, I didn't need you then and I don't need you now. Wait a minute, guys. Let's not start that again. Now, we're a family and we should encourage each other. And honey, your attitude is bad. You tell him, Doreen. And you, fool. <laughs> huh? You say you never need a Wally after he's been such a big help to you. A big help. I am tired of you two forever arguing and carrying on, and I wish it would stop. Well, you may just get your wish because, you see, I say the best for last. What do you mean? Well, you know that agent that gave me his car? Well, I called him today, and guess what? He wants to see me tomorrow morning. But you're working tomorrow morning. Well, that's why I stopped by. Doreen, could you do me a favor and fill in for me? Well, I can make arrangements at school, but are you sure you want to get involved in that rat race again? Oh, of course I'm sure. This guy could do it for me. He said he would. Look, Lionel, I know I put you down a lot, but let me level with you. Now, you've chased this dream before, and each time I take you back, now you can't keep doing that. What I'm saying is that your future may not be as an entertainer. You mean all I should be is a baker? Now, what's wrong with that? You got a steady job and a good paycheck. Now, in show business, you can go for months without work. Wally's well, right. Think about it, Lionel. I mean, after all, you're not getting any younger, and you already have a trade. People are always going to be eating bread. It's up to you, Lionel. What is it going to be, the bakery or show business? Who break my Hollywood? Hollywood. Hello. Hello. May I help you? Where's Lionel? Oh, he won't be in this morning. What would you like? I don't know what I'd like. Lionel always tells me what I'd like. <laughs> He isn't sick, is he? Oh, no, no. Did you check him back? <laughs> Believe me, he's not back there, but I can help you. Now, what would you like? What would I like? I would like for Lionel to be here. I can't help you? No, I'm very superstitious. I won't allow anyone else to wait on me but him. I'll come back when Lionel's here. Tell him it was Mrs. Katz. First time since I'm coming in here that Lionel isn't here. God forbid anything should happen to him. <laughs> Sell much? No, nothing. What happened? I don't know. It was a Mrs. Katz. She only wanted to deal with Lionel. She always buys something. You could have pushed it a little the way Lionel does. All of a sudden, Lionel was some help to you after all. Well, at least he puts money in the cash register, which is more than you do it. Is that the thanks I get for helping out? I can go broke with that kind of help. <laughs> May I remind you that I am not just an employee. I am your wife. You're a great wife, but you're a lousy employee. <laughs> You used to be a good employer. You got so bossy. I'm not bossy. I sugar the donuts. <laughs> I'll get this. Watch a pro at work. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Wally. Where's Lionel? Oh, he has some business to take care of. What can I do for you? Well, nothing really. I'll just wait for Lionel to come back. How about some of your favorite chocolate-covered cream puffs? Ooh, does the chocolate run down the side of your mouth? No, not on these. They're nice and firm. Oh. So how many would that be? A dozen? No, thank you. Uh, 
Don't you even want your regular order of poppy seed rolls? I don't even like poppy seed rolls. I just come in here so Lionel can talk me into the cream puffs. I see you know Lionel either. <laughs> just sugar the donuts. Hello, worker. Well, look who's here. You changed your mind, huh? You've come to work. Wrong again. What happened? Well, I just got back from my agent's office. And guess what? He got me a job for money. Really? That's right. My agent, he's got plans for me. I'm talking about some big plans. If you have such big plans, what are you doing here? Well, I thought you'd be happy to hear of my good fortune and to make sure that you get a permanent replacement for me. Permanent? That's right. Look like the kid is moving on. Arsenio Hall, watch out. <laughs> Doreen, this is the best shot I've ever had. What's the job? Where are you working? Well, there's this uh, new comedy club opening tonight called Valducci's, and I am the featured entertainer. No kidding, Lionel. Yeah. Well, can we come and see you? Oh, why don't you wait a few nights, Doreen, until I get to act together, you know, work on a few things here and there, you know? Why don't we wait until he's on America's Most Wanted? <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me, because my public is waiting, and I've got to get ready for that show tonight, so I'll see you later. Well, good luck tonight, Lionel. Have a great opening. Oh, uh, yeah, so long, Doreen. And like they say in the business, Ciao, baby. Could it be possible that we're wrong about Lionel? I mean, this could be his big break. Yeah, it's show business. Anything can happen. Pee Wee Herman is making a living. What do you say we go and see him tonight? He said to wait. Let's give it a few years. Oh, let's go to that Val Ducci's. We could sit in the back. You know, he might be nervous if he sees us. I see his act every day in the bakery. It is coming out of my ears. I'm not going. Honey. Don't make me have to use this. There should be some place around here. I don't see any place called Valducci's. Oh, look, over there where the lights are. Oh, no. Hey, folks! Hey, hey, come on in. Come on in and try Valducci's pizza. This is good pizza. If you don't believe me, ask Eddie Murphy. He loves Valducci's. Ain't that right, Eddie? <laughs> This is ain't no ordinary pizza. This one of those world famous bad dudes deep, 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 deep in this pizza. <laughs> and you know why I like bad dudes, boys and girls? Can you spell hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield loves bad dudes. Isn't that right, Rodney? Oh, let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you about my wife. Oh, see, you got one. Oh, what a character. Oh, she sent me for pizza once. To Italy, uh. This is awful. Well, at least they can't throw anything at him. He's already a tomato. <laughs> hey, folks, come on in. Come on in and try a foul duty speech. I finally reached Lionel. He's on his way over. I told you last night, I don't know how I can do it. Wally, you have to ask him to come back to work. You saw what I saw. Hey, I don't want to stand in the way of his career. <laughs> Some career. I'll never be able to look at a tomato again without seeing Lionel. I'll never be able to look at Rodney Dangerfield again without seeing a tomato. Stop joking. It was so humiliating. And he must never know we saw him. Not even one teeny vegetable joke? No. And Wally, you have to give him his job back. I'll give him his job back. All he has to do is ask. Now, you know he won't. He's got his pride. What about my pride? Don't my feelings count? Wally, we just can't let him go back there. You're only seeing the negative side of it. It's just starting out. He might meet a cucumber and get married. <laughs> Settle down and raise a nice salad. <laughs> Adopt a couple of croutons. I bet that's Lionel. You go ahead, I'll catch up. Get it? Catch up? <laughs> hey, Lionel. How you doing, Doreen? So how did your opening night go? Oh, I was great, but the conditions weren't exactly what I expected. Oh, what do you mean? You know, like I could hear the traffic. <laughs> and uh, I didn't like the way my tux fit. <laughs> and the room was a little too big. And you sound a little disappointed. Oh, let me put it this way, Doreen. It was sort of like a blind date. You see, you have these expectations of the girl being really beautiful, right? You go up to the door, you ring the doorbell, the door opens, and there's this ugly tomato. I, I mean, you, you know what I mean. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. You could probably get your job back here. Wally could use you. 
No, I couldn't ask Wally for my job back. He think I was begging. Ah, uh, Lionel. Hey, Wally. Lionel was just saying he was a little disappointed in the job he had last night. It wasn't that bad. You just said you didn't like it. No, I said I didn't like ugly blind dates. I was just telling Lionel how much you miss having him around the bakery. Don't you be lying to that man like that. You know, I don't understand you two. You both need each other, and neither one of you is big enough to admit it. I don't need him. And I need him less than he needs me. You are worse than my kindergarten class. Now, Lionel, you like to come back to work here, wouldn't you? Good. And Wally, you want Lionel to come back to work, don't you? Good. Okay, it's a unanimous decision. I did not ask him to come back. And I didn't ask to come back. Look, I have got to get to my other children. So why don't you two try and work it out? Behave. No, no, I know what you're doing. You're waiting for me to ask for my job back. No, I'm not. I got things to do. Mm -hmm. See, you need me, and I'm not coming back until you ask me. I'm not asking, and I don't need you. And when you do ask me to come back, don't think I'm coming back to work here at the regular salary. I want a big raise, okay? I only give a raise to people I need, and we both have determined I don't need you. No, you need you me. See, that's your no, problem. No, you you're need not me. Why, to Wally, me. you need me. You understand? Lionel, are you back there? Yes, Mrs. Katz. Oh, thank God you're back. I was so upset. I didn't know what to do when you weren't here. <laughs> I was seriously considering going to another bakery. <laughs> I'm so used to you waiting on me that I just can't stand it when anybody else does it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Wally, did you watch that Tyson-Douglas fight? That was no fight. It was a massacre. My man Buster killed Tyson. Killed him? Yeah, Tyson won that fight. Had Buster on the canvas long enough to need pajamas. At least my man got up, which was bad news for your man. Yeah, well, you wait till the rematch. Iron Mike will kill him. He's gonna bust Buster like he's never been busted. You know what ruined Mike Tyson? Fast women. What's fast women got to do with it? I know the faster the woman, the slower the punch. I don't want to hear nothing about no fight. See, you don't know nothing like I said.